You can find your way down to your mat. We'll start seated as we do. You can go cross-legged, legs out in front of you, sit in a long butterfly. It doesn't quite matter. Wherever you feel comfortable, that's where you get to take it. You'll anchor your sits bones down into the mat. Take a big roll of the shoulder so you can open up through your chest. Let the shoulder blades just relax down and back and reach the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. We'll take four deep breaths from right here. Inhaling through your nose to fill your body up with air, expanding through the rib cage from side to side and front to back. And then exhale out. You can let all of that air go. For three, inhale. Good. And exhale, let it go. For two, inhale. And exhale, let it go. One more, inhale. And exhale, let it go. Good. With your last exhale, let's just reach the arms so they go out to T, fingertips reaching long. We'll take things over towards the right. Right hand goes down, left arm reaches up and over, big side body stretch. Good. Exhale as you come all the way up through center and then take it on over towards the left. Left hand down, right arm reaches up. For three more each side, we'll come up through center, bring it over towards the right, right hand down, left arm up, dropping the right shoulder away from the ear. Exhale, we'll come all the way up and then we bring it up and over towards the left. For two. And two. One more. Good. And then one more. Good. With your last one, bring your arms so they go all the way out in front of you, fingertips reaching towards me. We'll take the right arm, inhale as you open the right arm up, reaching the fingertips back, rotating open through your chest towards the right side of the room. And then exhale, you come all the way back through center. Same thing on the left side. Inhale as you open up and reach the left fingertips back. And then exhale, take it all the way through center for three more like that. Inhale as you open and then exhale, close. Good. And then to the left, we'll open and close. Good for two. Good. And two, open to the left. Good. One more, open to the right. And then close, open to the left and close. And then take your arms so they go all the way down. If your legs are crossed, uncross your legs, take your feet so they come in front of you a little bit wider than your hips. Hands can stay behind you. Press yourself up and away from the mat. So you have a proud chest. Your shoulders are relaxed away from your ears. We'll take the right knee. Inhale as you internally rotate from the hip. Bring the right knee in closer towards the center of your body. And then exhale, open back up. Same thing on the left. We bring that left knee in and then open it back up. For a second, my words were just not connecting. For three, right side goes down and then it'll open. Three and three. Mm -hmm. For two. And two. And then one more. Good. And one more. Good. Once your left leg comes back up through center, slide your legs so they go all the way out to straight. Your feet are definitely wider than your hips. Flex your feet so they pull back towards your nose. Reach your arms so they go out in front of you. Inhale, sit up tall, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears. Exhale as you draw in belly button to spine. Start to curve things all the way down to your mat. Good. Take your time. Shoulders and head go down. Arms reach back overhead. Inhale. Exhale, lift your arms, press your hands down, tuck your chin to your chest, take it all the way up. Good. 
and then round forward through the upper back, glide the arms forward. Good. Good. Good for three. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale as you curve the spine, tilting the hips back towards you, rolling all the way down, finding that deep curve through your spine. Shoulders and head come down, arms reach back overhead. Inhale. Exhale, lift your arms. We're finding the same curve we found on the way down, on the way up, tucking chin to chest. That's where the curve initiates. We curve all the way up and over. And then dive it forward, reaching over for the toes, gliding the shoulder blades apart. Mm -hmm. Good. For two, inhale, sit up tall. The crown of your head follows the same curve that the rest of your spine is creating. So if you're looking straight up towards where your ceiling meets the wall, I need you to bring it down just a little bit. Try to look towards like your thumbs or past your fingertips. Shoulders and head down, arms reach back. Inhale. Exhale, lift your arms. We're creating the curve by tucking chin to chest, keeping that curve in our spine. You come all the way up and then you round forward, pointing the crown of the head forward. I think that was three. We're going to do one more with the feet wide. Flex your feet, draw in from the belly button, bring it all the way down. Good. Shoulders and head down, arms reach back, inhale. Exhale, lift, press the hands down, tuck the chin to the chest, roll all the way up. And then dive up and over, pointing the crown of the head forward. Good. Okay, from there, you're sitting up tall. You can drop the shoulders for a second. I want you to bring your legs together. Take the heels so they press into each other. Your feet are going to turn out just a little bit so you make a V with your feet. We'll do those same four roll-ups from here, different foot position. It's going to feel a little bit more challenging, but you guys can handle it. We're also going to move just a hair faster. Just a hair. It'll help us out a little bit. Reach your arms out in front of you, relax the shoulders down away from your ears, exhale, you draw in belly button to spine, you keep the heels pressing together as you roll all the way down, knees might lift off of the mat, that's okay, shoulders and head down, arms reach back, inhale, exhale, press the hands down, find that curve, big exhale, and then dive up and over. Mm -hmm. And it might not be perfect. That's okay. For three, inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, keep the heels pressing into each other. You roll all the way down, shoulders and head down, arms reach back. Inhale. Exhale, press it down. Good. For two, inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, tuck and roll. Shoulders and head down, arms reach back. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Man, is this hard with the legs together. One more. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, tuck and roll. Can you keep your right heel pressing into your left? Your left heel pressing into your right. Shoulders and head down, arms reach back. Inhale, exhale. You're coming all the way up. Good. And then dive forward, reaching the fingertips forward, reaching the crown of the head forward. Good. We'll rebuild the spine, sitting all the way up tall, opening your feet so they're about hips distance apart, flexing your feet and then opening the arms so they come out to T. Flip your palms forward. Inhale as you twist your upper body over towards the right. You're going to hinge at the hips, reaching the left hand towards the outside of the right foot. We pull back for three. So pull back with that right hand, push forward with the left for two. Pull back. And then push forward one more as you pull back. Use that right side oblique. Push forward and then come all the way up. D, rotate. Take it over to the other side. You're going to hinge and reach right hand to the outside of the left foot. You pull back for one and then push forward. Really use that left side oblique and then push forward. One more, pull back. Push forward, come all the way up. D, rotate. We'll do that three more times each side, twisting to the right, hinging at the hips and reaching left hand to the outside of the right foot. Pull back one, push forward, pull back two, mm -hmm. and three. Good. All the way up, de-rotate, and then over towards the left. And this will get your shoulders a little bit warm for sure. You're probably feeling that already for two. Last one. Pull back, come all the way up. Here's two going over towards the right, hinge and reach. Pull back one, 
Pull back two. Pull back three. All the way up. Good. De rotate. Take it over towards the left. Hinge and reach. Pull back one, two, and three. All the way up. Here, here is our last one each side, twisting over towards the right. Oh, hinge at the hips, reaching the left hand towards the outside of the right foot. You pull back one, push forward, pull back two, push forward, pull back three. All the way up. Take it to the, oh my gosh, my shoulder. Hinge and reach, reaching the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Pull back one and reach for two and reach. One more, pull back and reach and then take it all the way up arms come back out in front of you and then roll it all the way down to the mat mm -hmm. good shoulders and head come down if you rolled yourself straight off of the mat just scoot down a little bit i always roll myself off of the mat feet go about hips distance apart on your mat so you'll bend your knees take your arms so they go down by your sides roll the shoulders down away from your ears pressing the backs of the shoulders the triceps and the hands into the mat on your exhale you'll tuck the tailbone start to peel the spine off of the mat as you lift up into a bridge doesn't have to be high inhale at the top and then exhale as you lower all the way back down Inhale, and then exhale, tuck and roll. Good, inhale at the top. Exhale as you take it all the way back down. Good, for four more like that, we inhale at the bottom. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips, coming up to bridge, opening up through the front of the hip, opening up through the front of the leg. Good. Inhale, exhale, take it all the way back down. For three, inhale at the bottom. Exhale, can you feel your right and your left heel pressing into the mat and pressing into the mat evenly? Can you feel the muscle engagement for the, through the right glute and the left glute, maybe even a little bit of hamstring? Inhale, exhale, take it all the way back down. It's two more like that. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale as you tuck the tailbone. Lift the hips coming up to bridge. Good. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you take it all the way back down. Good. On this one, we lift up to the top of our bridge. You'll hold it right there at the top. And remember, it doesn't have to be the highest possible bridge that you can do. Just check in, make sure that the hip points are level, you're engaged into the back of the body. Press into your right toes, lift your right heel so that it comes off of the mat, and then lower it back down. Do that same thing on the left. Left heel lifts and then it lowers for three more. Right heel lifts and lowers and left heel lifts and lowers for two, lift and lower and two. One more and then one more. Good. You can lower your heel and then lower the hips so they come all the way back down to the mat. Good. From right there, bring your heels towards each other. Turn your toes apart so you make that same V with your feet. And you can either press your heels down, lift your toes, and take this bridge from right here, or you can just keep your foot flat. I'm going to go foot flat. Um, with the heels and toes apart, that opens up our knees. It opens up our hips a little bit. So this bridge will feel different for obvious reasons, different foot position, right? But just take the first couple reps and see how it feels. When you're ready, you exhale, tuck the tailbone. You press into the feet. You lift the hips up to bridge. Maybe you can't get as high. Maybe it feels a little more unstable. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you lower all the way back down. Good. Inhale. Exhale, take it all the way up. Good, inhale. And exhale all the way back down. Inhale and exhale, tuck and roll. Good. 
good for four more, just like that. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, press into the feet or just the heels, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips to bridge, inhale, exhale all the way back down. For three, inhale at the bottom, exhale as you tuck the tailbone, peel the spine off of the mat, lifting your hips up to bridge. Inhale, and then exhale, take it all the way back down. For two, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips, come up to bridge. Good, lower back down. And then on your last one, you're going to lift the hips, bring it up to bridge, hold it right there. Keep your feet pressing down into the mat, either just the heels with the toes lifted or the whole foot pressing down. On your exhale, I want you to try and bring the knees closer to each other. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Mine absolutely don't. Inhale, you open right back up. So it's about an inch, maybe even two inches of movement. You bring the knees closer to each other. And then you open back up. You can even imagine you're squeezing onto our little Pilates ball as you bring the knees closer and then open back up. Let's just do that three more times. Pull in and then open for two in and open. And then one more in and open. And then you can lower your hips all the way back down to the mat. Good. Take a second when you get to the bottom, open your feet up wider than your hips. You can keep toes turned out, heels turned in. Inhale, drop both of your knees over towards the right, letting your left hip lift, keeping the left shoulder anchored down. Exhale, knees come up through center. Inhale, we can drop them both over towards the left, letting the right hip lift, keeping the right shoulder anchored down. And then we'll take everything up through center. Once you get there, whew, we'll take a second. We'll move our hands so they come behind the head. You'll interlace your fingers together so you're supporting your head with your hands, opening your elbows out towards the sides of the room. And then lift one leg up to tabletop at a time. So legs are pulling together. Your knees can go above your hips or you can pull the knees in a little bit closer and that's fine too. Point your toes. You're going to take a big exhale as you curl chin to chest, lifting up through head, neck, and shoulders. You're lifted right about to the tips of your shoulder blades, looking forward towards the center of your thighs. Keeping your toes pointed on your exhale, you draw the knees in closer to you. Inhale as you extend the legs away. Exhale, you draw the knees in closer. Inhale as you extend and reach away for four. Pull in and reach away for three pull in and reach for two and then one more good knees pull back in lower your head all the way down take a second there at the bottom okay when you're ready, you're going to curl back up. So you take your time. If you need an extra second, take it. If you're ready, big exhale. We curl up chin to chest. You're looking straight forward towards the center of your thighs. This time I want you to extend your legs out. Toes are pointed. We hold on that high diagonal. We'll flex the feet and then point the toes just for four. Flex and then point for three. Flex and point. For two, flex and point. One more, flex and point. Bend your knees, lower your head all the way back down to the mat. Take a second there. Okay, now we're going to bring heels together, toes apart. That'll open your knees up a little bit further from each other. That's okay, keep pressing the heels into each other. Big exhale, you curl up through head, neck, and shoulders. Hold it right here. Same kind of thing we did before. You're going to draw the knees in a little bit closer on your exhale. Inhale as you extend the legs out. Flex your feet, heels pressing into each other, toes turning out. Exhale, we draw the knees in. Inhale, we extend out just for four more. Bring it in and then extend it out. Good. For three, if you need to drop your head, you're going to drop your head. Do what you need for two. Pull in. 
Extend out. One more pull in. Extend out. Bend the knees. Lower your head, neck, and shoulders down. Okay, one more thing like that. Just one more. Just one more. We keep the heels pressing together. We keep the toes turned out. Big exhale. You curl up through head, neck, and shoulders. Push the legs out on the high diagonal. Your feet are flexed. So we're going to flex and then point. Flex and point. Heels stay pressing into each other for three and point for two and point. One more. Flex and point, bend the knees, lower head, neck, and shoulders down. And then you can move your hands so they come towards the tops of your legs. Take a little rock from side to side. Take a breath. Okay. From here, we're gonna roll over so that we're on our uh, no right side. So right hip goes down, right knee can come in front of you, stack the left knee on top of the right and then extend your right arm so it goes all the way out or bend your elbow so you have a little pillow for your head with your bicep i'm gonna go right here take your left hand bring it to your left hip and then push your left hip down towards your heels your knees are bent at 90 degrees your hips are bent at 90 degrees you're flexing through your feet and we'll take this left leg you're going to extend it out so that it goes out in line with your hip good okay on your inhale you bend your knee you'll pull that left knee so it's about oh I don't know two maybe three inches above the right knee and then you just push it right back out to straight you'll inhale bend your knee in and then exhale push it back out to straight <laughs> bend and then press bend and press good for four bend and press for three for two and then one more bend and press good keeping your left leg in line with your hip you're going to bend the knee right back in hold it bent at 90 degrees flex the feet so we're anchoring down into that right leg and then moving your left leg as one piece you'll exhale as you open up from the hip hip knee and ankle all move as one piece You'll inhale, take things right back down, stopping when your knee is maybe about an inch and a half or two inches away from your right leg. Exhale as you open up. And then inhale as you take it down. As you're moving through your left leg, just check in and see what you feel happening through the right side of your body. So sometimes when we open up here, we collapse down into the mat and that kind of forces our hips backwards a little bit. I want you to try and keep the hips in one spot, keep the side of your body in one spot, keep your shoulders stacked on top of each other. It's increasingly more difficult the more we think about it. Let's do three more like this. We'll open And then close for two open and then close. One more will open good and then close. Good. And you can bring the left knee so it goes all the way down on top of your right leg. Take a second right there. 
Left hand is going to come in front of you. You'll press yourself up off of your right side. Both hands are coming to the mat, and then you're going to pop up into a tabletop position. Uh, shoulders over wrists, knees underneath the hips. You'll spread out through your fingertips wide. Press the space between the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling. We're pressing evenly between right knee and between both hands. You'll take your left leg. You can, well, let's point the toe just so that we don't have to. Actually, no, I lied. Let's flex the foot. So your toes are going to be down on the mat. On your exhale, you're going to extend the left leg back. And then inhale, you'll bend your knee and you can pull right back in. So the knees underneath the hip. You'll exhale, push back. And then inhale, bring it in. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't like to be on your hands or it's uncomfortable on your wrist, you can go one forearm down or you can go both forearms down and take it from right here. It is really up to you, but all options work. So don't feel pressured to be up on your hands if it's not what you like, or if it's not what is really serving you and your wrists. Good, the crown of your head is pointed forward. So if you're looking back and you can see the tops of your legs, I need you to lift your head just a little bit. Look more towards the top edge of your mat. I don't think I've set a number yet. So let's do one more like this. And then pull your left knee back in. So the knees underneath the hip, hold that 90 degree bend. We'll do eight right here. You're opening up from the hip, reaching that left knee out towards the left side of your room and then pulling right back in. It's the same exact movements that we just did laying on our side, we open and then close. So different body positioning, different things to think about. Maybe you feel more work happening through the side of your butt here on that left side. Maybe you feel more on the stabilizing side. Maybe all you can think about is just your wrist and your core. It just, you know, really depends. That's four. We'll go for three. For two, and then one more. Good, left knee comes down, take a second. You can bring the top of your foot all the way down. We'll release the pressure through the wrist, sitting the hips back towards the heels, taking a child's pose, rounding the spine just a little bit, take a breather. Okay, now as a means of transition, we're going to come up into a high plank. Hands are down, your feet are going to step back. You take your time getting right here. If you don't want to high plank, you just take a second and, and you'll get where you need to be. You're going to lift up through your right leg, right leg lifts, bend that right knee so it comes in towards your chest and then plant the right foot down so it's between the hands a little bit closer towards the right than the left. You can come up onto your fingertips. We're going to step the left foot in about halfway and then you'll bring yourself up into stand. Oh my gosh, look at that. What a smooth transition. Uh, you're up on the left toes. We're going to hinge forward a little bit from the hips. We're trying to stabilize into that right leg. Now get comfortable here. Can you lift your left toes off of the mat? I know you can. On your exhale, you're bending into your left knee, pulling the left knee closer to you. Inhale as you extend the left leg back. You're going to pull that left knee in and then extend it back. Good, and the nice thing about having a huge mirror here is I can see you guys in the camera and not even have to look at you. Not look at you like head on. <laughs> Good, reach it back. Mm -hmm. And then pull it in. Let's do two more like that, reaching the left leg back. And if you need to tap your toes to the mat, tap your toes to the mat, that's cool. Can we do one more, reach it back. Woo. And then bring it in. Good. With that last one, your left foot can come down to the mat. You're going to stand up out of your right leg. I'm going to turn to face you, but you can stay facing 
whatever way you're facing. You have a little bend into that right knee. Okay, we're going to stand up a little bit taller, shoulders right on top of the hips. Take your left foot so it just comes a little bit in front of you. You're going to lift your foot off of the mat. Your knee is bent, but it doesn't have to be all the way up here. It can be down here just a little bit. Same movement that we've been doing. It's going to feel weird, so just stick with me. You're opening your hip up. And then you'll bring it right back in. Same movement pattern, right? The only thing that's changing is how we are stabilizing on the opposite side. So we're pressing into that right foot. You're maybe opening your left knee up an inch. Maybe it's bigger than that. What I want you to look out for is opening this left knee and swaying the rest of your body towards the right. Okay, so if it's getting to be like that, I want you to take your left toes down towards the mat and then just open up from there, opening the hip, opening the knee, and keeping the big toe as kind of like a, uh, um, what's the physics term I'm looking for? Can't think of it for two more. I wanna say a fulcrum, but I don't think that's the right one, that's two. One more, open, good. And then close, left toes come down, feet about hips distance apart. You'll inhale, stand up really tall, relax the shoulders. Exhale as you nod your chin to your chest, round forward through the spine. Your hands come all the way down to the mat. You take a second right here. We'll take our right foot. You'll step the right foot back. Left foot goes back to meet it. And then you'll drop down to your knees, untuck your toes, Press your hips back to your heels and find your child's pose. Good. Take a second. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. And then when you're ready, we'll set up to do all that again on the other side. So coming down onto our left hip, we'll lay all the way down onto the left side. You can bend your elbow or you can reach the left arm all the way out. I'm going to chalk that up to personal preference. Whew. Knees are bent to 90 degrees. Hips are bent and stacked on top of each other. You're flexing your feet. We're pressing that right hip down towards the foot so we can lift up a little bit through our left side. When you're ready, your right leg extends out. So it's out in line with your hip. You have a flexed foot. You're going to inhale as you bend your knee, pulling the right knee so it stacks on top of the left and it's lifted about two and a half or three inches. And then you'll exhale to push your knee back out. We'll inhale, bend the right knee, pull it in. And then exhale, push all the way back out. Inhale. And then exhale, press. Inhale, bend. And then exhale, press. We'll do four more like this. You can inhale, bend. And then exhale, press. For three, bend. And press. For two. And then one more. I don't know why I'm yawning so much today. Like my body's acting like I didn't sleep nine hours. <laughs> we'll pull the right leg back in. You're bent at 90 degrees through the knee. Keep your foot flexed. And then we'll move that right leg as one piece. Exhale as you open up. Hip, knee, and ankle all moving on that same line. Good. And then inhale. You take it right back down. Good, you'll exhale, open. And then inhale, bring it back down. We'll open.
and then close. Let's do four. Good for three. For two, open. Good. One more. As I spill coffee all over the carpet and then pull things back in, take a second and breathe right there. You can take your right hand in front of you. We'll press up off of our left side. Both hands are coming down and then you're popping up into your tabletop position, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Okay. We're pressing up and away, pressing the space between the shoulder blades towards the ceiling. If you know right away, you'd like to come down to, a, um, to your forearms, that's okay with me. Uh, even pressure through the left knee and both hands will flex the right foot. When you're ready, you're going to push that right leg back and then pull the knee so it comes all the way back in. For me, I like an inhale push back. Inhale push back, find length, exhale as you pull that knee in back to the starting point or even a little bit further. We inhale, push back, exhale, pull in, inhale out, exhale in. Good for four out and then in. Good for three, press out. Good for two. And then one more. Press out. And then pull it in. Good. If you need a second, you're going to take it. If not, you keep your knee bent at 90 degrees. You can keep your foot flexed. When you're ready, it's an exhale. You open up from the hip, opening that right knee towards the right side of the room. And then you bring it all the way back in. It will more than likely be a much smaller range of motion than what we were working with when we were laying down on our side. So let it be smaller. Let yourself use different muscle groups to get through it. And if you'd rather be on the forearms, that's cool with me. It's just going to feel a little bit, a little bit different. And then no matter where you've chosen to set up, if you're looking straight back towards the tops of your thighs and your head is dropping towards the mat, I need you to look forward a little bit more towards the top edge of your mat. Let's do four. For three. Good. For two. And then one more. Good. Your knee can come down. Take a second. You can untuck the toes, hips to the heels. Give yourself a second off of the wrist. Find a child's pose, rounding forward through the spine. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. When you're ready, you're pulling things forward. We're finding a plank. Hands are down. Your feet go back. Take a second. Left foot is going to lift off of the mat. You'll pull the left knee in towards your chest and then step your left foot down so it's between your hands. Before you come all the way up, walk the right foot in about halfway, tuck those toes under and then bring yourself up to stand. Take your time. We have a little hinge forward at the hips. We're drawing the belly button up and in. We're anchored down into our left side. Can you lift your right foot off of the mat? On your exhale, can you pull that right knee? Oh my gosh, I cannot balance today. Pull the right knee towards you. And then inhale, reach it out. Exhale, you'll pull in. Inhale, you reach out. Mm -hmm, good, exhale in. 
Inhale, back out. Good. Exhale, bring it in. For four, pull in. And then reach out. For three. Good. And reach. For two. And then back out. Last one, we pull in. And then reach out. Good, with that last one, you can stand into your left leg, bring the right toes down, take a second. Again, I'm gonna flip towards you guys. It's a soft bend into your left knee, but you're standing much more upright, shoulders on top of the hips, slight tuck under of the tailbone. <laughs> Once you feel like you've got your balance and you're not gonna fall over, I'm not quite there yet. We're going to lift the right knee so it comes not all the way up in line with the hip, a little bit lower. You can flex your foot and maybe you remember from the second side how this felt. You're going to open up from your hip, opening the right knee and the foot and ankle out and then pull it back in. Mm -hmm. We'll open and then close and it might be so tiny maybe you need to bring your right toes down and just open up more from the hip and knee and that works too good we're not doing a lot although even a little feels like a lot it's four for three for two that's not happening on this side for me <laughs> My legs like, oh, you want us to balance? <laughs> no, one more open and then close. Okay, right foot comes down to meet the left. You take a second, feet stay hips distance, inhale, stand up tall. Exhale, you nod your chin to your chest. You round forward through the shoulders. You can slide your hands down the front of your legs. Both hands come down. We'll step the left foot back to plank, step the right foot back to meet it. Take a second here and then drop down to your knees, untuck your toes, press hips all the way back to the heels, find your child's pose. Yep, take your time, rounding forward through the spine. When you're ready, you'll pull things forward so that you're face down on your mat. Legs are reaching back behind you. Hands can be under the shoulders and a little bit forward. Forearms are a little wider than the rest of your body. Tops of the feet pressing down into the mat. You'll inhale, lift the chest. As you lift your chest, your head will naturally lift up with you. We'll lift, lift, lift. Keep pressing the hands and the forearms down into the mat, relaxing the shoulders down and back. And then you'll bring everything back down to the mat, melting down through the front of the body, chest comes down, head comes down. For three, we'll lift. And then lower. For two. And then one more. Good, with your last one, your chest and your head come all the way down. Take your arms so they're reaching back towards the sides of your body. Fingertips kind of reaching past the hips. You can flip your palms up towards the ceiling, relax the shoulders down and back. And then from right there, you lift your chest, you lift your head, you'll lift your arms, reaching the fingertips back towards your heels. And you'll find a spot that you can't really go up higher than that. And you can exhale lower all the way back down. For three, we'll inhale, lift the chest, you lift the head, lift the arms, reaching the fingertips back. And then exhale, take it all the way back down. For two, lift. And lower. 
Last one, lift. And then lower. Good, take things all the way down to the mat. Take a second. Okay, relax the shoulders away from your ears. Can you tuck the tailbone, pressing the front of the hips and the pubic bone into the mat, feeling your belly button lifting away from your mat, drawing backwards towards your spine and maybe even towards the ceiling. We'll take a big exhale. You lift your chest, you lift your head, you lift the arms and then lift the legs off of the mat. So you're pressing and anchoring into the front of the hips, pointing the toes, upper body stays still. You start to kick through your legs. Kicking from the hip all the way down to the big toe. We'll stay here for three, two, and one. Relax the legs, relax the upper body down. Move your hands so they come underneath the shoulders and then press yourself all the way up. And we'll take it all the way back into our child's pose. Hips towards the heels, rounding forward through the spine. Good, inhale. Exhale, let it go. And when you're ready, we'll pull things forward into a tabletop position, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, spread out through your fingertips. Inhale, you'll arch into your back, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, press up and away, curving the spine, pointing the crown of the head down. Inhale as you arch. Exhale as you press up and away. Two more. Inhale, we'll arch, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, press up and away, curving the spine. One more, inhale. And then exhale. Good. With your last one, come back to tabletop. Keep your left hand down. We're going to take the right hand away. Reach up through that right arm, opening up towards the right side of the room, reaching the fingertips up. And then on your exhale, we're going to send that right arm behind the left. You can lower down towards the right shoulder and right ear. Good. When you're ready, you press into your left hand. You're going to open all the way up towards the right side. Fingertips reaching one more time. We're going to send the right arm so it goes behind the left. Finding a nice big twist. Shoulder and ear can go down. And then you'll exhale. Press yourself back up. Right hand can come down towards your mat. Same thing on the left side. Right hand stays pressing. You'll inhale. Open up through that left side. Reaching the fingertips up. Exhale as you send that left arm behind the right, carefully lowering down to left ear and left shoulder. Exhale, you can press into your right hand and open back up. And then one more time, we send that left arm through. It goes behind the right. You're carefully lowering down to shoulder and ear. And then exhale, pressing into your right hand to open all the way back up. Good. Feels like I did an extra step there. Left hand can come down, walk your hips back towards your heels, walk your hands in towards the tops of your knees, and then come up into a seated position, shoulders right on top of the hips. We'll take one big roll of the shoulders, lifting the shoulders towards the ears, rolling back behind us, and then settling into wherever our neutral position is with the spine. If you feel your belly button pulling forward and your butt popping back, just kind of pull things in. Sit up really tall. Let's take one deep breath. Inhale. And then exhale. You can let everything go. Good. And then from there, you guys are all finished with me. We made it through another Monday class. I don't know why I got down on the mat and I started yawning like crazy.